Oh, baby. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, baby. My boy. I don't want to have to leave you. Oh, no. No. No, no. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Oh, no. No. I'm going to miss you so much. So much. So much. You have a new Well, actually, she's more like a court appointed social worker. Hey, baby. I'm going to miss you. Oh, ow. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. In fact, she was such a disciplinarian. Next time I'm dropping them at the tube station. Uh, no, I'm not even going to do that. Next time I'm going to drop at the train station at Ipswich. Oh, welcome to a vlog. It's Yalk weekend. It's Thursday. It's not even the weekend yet, but it's Yalk weekend. You will have seen me leaving the papa and a few scenes on the way. But we're trying to find the Airbnb that I'm staying Which way have I got to go? Uh, straight. Just go straight. <laughs> Just keep. But Hammersmith, we're going the right way. <laughs> oh, this journey has been an absolute disaster from the moment we got off the M25, I think. No, it was the A13, the moment we went past Tower Bridge and I listened to the sat nav and it took me across the river and somewhere else. No, it was stressful before that. Was it? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, coming off the M25 to join the A13 because there was like five different varieties of A13. Yeah. Do you want east, east, west, west, or west? Or east, west? Or west, east. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Yeah, we're trying to find Steph so that Steph can fuel this woman with a Red Bull. Um, honestly, not sure how she's still alive with the stress that's literally radiating off her. I did offer to drive. She'd then just have to drive home. But, um, my she, thought process she opted was, to drive. If I drive here, I'll know the way back. However, sat nav took me completely the route I've not been planning for the last week. You'll just have to listen to a sat nav on the way home. Going Honestly, it's not that hard. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Can you even see it? Oh, that's pretty. Anyway. Yeah, I feel like this vlog is going to be one of the most chaotic things I've ever put on the internet. And I'll put some chaos on the internet. <laughs> In a minute, how many do I have? We can what? Oh, we can keep the toilet all to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I was vlogging you singing. In a minute, I'm going to put me up. Put me up. We're going to bring out the fabulous. <laughs>
been browsing Comic Con and I got a Pokemon starter pack, like a trainer pack, like certificate and everything because we all know I love Pokemon. So let's see. First up we have my Pokemon training certificate. That's fancy. Oh. Ooh, breeding license with honors. And then, that one? No, she, okay. and then we have my letter of acceptance to the Royal Pokemon Academy. Fancy. Fancy. And then we have my ticket to the Pokemon League. My ticket to the Safari Zone. And then my map of the Safari Zone. You need to get those towels. All the good stuff. And the Pokemon that I got. Is... Drum roll, please. Oh, I got an Ekans. Oh. I'm a bad guy. <laughs> I'm yeah, a bad, bad guy. guy. <laughs> I got an Ekans. There we go. That That's my Pokemon so starter pack. <laughs> I love I that. We're going to Piccadilly. We found a calf. We found a fan. We found a calf. We found a fan. <laughs> There's a fanny over there too. <laughs> And most importantly, we found Piccadilly Waterstones. We're in foils and I found the welcome book lover you're among friends sign that I've never seen before but I see on bookstagram all the time. Very accomplished. Good job folks. Good job. I don't know if you can hear me but I'm gonna try anyway. So this clip may end up not going. Alright, well, was that it? Where's that? It's not even a real mini Right, so we've just been waiting for Kathleen's drink, right? Because they didn't come from like, oh, it's a mojito, it's going to take a while for them to make it. came in a fucking car. They forgot about it. Anyway, we've come to Spoons. We went to Foils. You saw us finding the sign in Foils. More books from Foils. We've come to Spoons for food and bevies. We found is CC okay with being in vlogs or? Yeah, she is. <laughs> now we have food. Bye. Day two, baby. Let's go. Oh, look at them all! Like no, look at the <laughs> Maddie's here, but she's a snotty mess. Oh, <laughs> Hi! <laughs> you can Aww. actually hear me blow my nose a little bit. Isn't it great? Story. Look at us all! I love us. What is this? I love us. No! <laughs> Can we go 
went into the museum, so be prepared for a lot of museum B-roll. <laughs>
because I spent a lot of money. A mood. A mood. A mood. I would love to top up. A mood. A mood. Oh my god. That would be terrifying. I, you're, you're speaking over tank Like, probably. Easy. Tank how far we <laughs> what was that, Maddie? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop you until the clap is off now. I don't trust you. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Was that <laughs> oh, God, let's get talking about sex. Let's just. I'm just filming Maddie having a meltdown. Bye. See you when we see you. Oh, they're having a real deep cuddle. Ooh, fancy. I'm home and it's hot. <laughs> um, it is actually now Tuesday. I got home yesterday after saying goodbye to everybody and I was just so tired that I did not have it in me to give you these final haul clips. But I'm doing it now. So here we are. You'll have to excuse the absolute state of me. It's really warm. Um, I washed my hair this morning and was like, I just can't have it touching my neck. It's so hot. <laughs> um, so excuse the fact that I look a little bit like an egg. It's haul time. How many books did I purchase during my time in London? I won't say at Yelk because although obviously I went for Yelk, we went to a lot of other bookshops as well. We did Waterstones, we did Forbidden Planet, we did Foils. Um, so I definitely picked some up from those places. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. It is looking like I have 28 books that I picked up in London. So... Let's just fly through them. I won't tell you too much about them because this isn't a haul, this is supposed to be a vlog, but just a quick rundown of the 28 books that I got. Fall of the Argosy by Sebastian de Castell in paperback. I didn't have it yet, it was on the hotkey stand, I wanted it. A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. I own this in hardback, but the sequel was never released in the same cover as the hardback that I own, so I wanted the matching first book, so I'll unhaul the hardback I've got, you know, but underrated. I really enjoyed this. Onyeka and the Academy of the Sun. I've heard exciting things about this. I'm looking forward to reading it. The cover looks really freaking cool. Contender, The Chosen by Taran Mathuru. Dinosaurs. 
I won one of these bad boys, Hockey Book Celebrating 10 Years. It's their bestseller from each of the 10 years that they've existed, so it's like a super sampler of like the first few chapters of each of those 10 books. I really wanted a copy of this because Sebastian de Castell's in it. It can go on my Seb shelf. I'm a happy bean. <laughs> this one I picked up in Forbidden Planet, Daughter of Red Winter by Ed MacDonald. I've seen this floating around. I know that uh, Broken Binding have done a special edition of it. I can't justify that. But Forbidden Planet had a signed copy, so I picked that up. Got a middle grade comic series here, which is Zeta the Space Girl. Uh, yeah, that's the first one. Zeta the Space Girl, Return of Zeta the Space Girl, and Legends of Zeta the Space Girl. Middle grade comics about Zeta the Space Girl. Picked up this little self-pubbed one from Comic-Con, Calamity at Gattery V. Gattery 5, I assume that's supposed to be. Um, this was pitched as be gay, do crime, be queer in space. And then the opening line of the book is, as usual with this ridiculous bullshit, it came from the fucking stars. And that's all I needed to know that I wanted a copy of this book. And it's signed because it's self-pubbed and the person was, who was selling them was the author, so she signed it as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I think it could be funny. Um, I picked up Zachary Ying and the Dragon Emperor, which is um, Kieran J. Zhao's middle grade book, which I'm very excited about. I haven't read Iron Widow yet, but I'm more excited for their middle grade book. So this one, this one was a bargain as well because it's slightly damaged on the bottom. Um, I then picked up a manga the Girl from the Other Side, Volume 1. Steph said she quite enjoyed this. It had caught my eye because it looked a little bit like dark and mysterious. And I've been reading more manga lately and I want to continue doing that. So we picked up this one. I then also picked up Orange, Volume 1, because with... What else did I buy? Because I got this for free. Oh, I can't remember. There was a deal on this stall where basically, because I got that manga and another book, I can't remember which one it was, um... Oh, I remember what one it was. It was one for Steph. There was another manga that she wanted. So I picked up this one, picked up the one for Steph, which then meant that Orange Volume 1 was free. And uh, this is usually like £20 or something ridiculous. And it was free. And I've kind of always like had it on my mind that I might want to read it someday, but like it's expensive. So when it was free, picked it up. And I know that lots of people really love this series, so I'm excited to give it a whack. That stall then also had a deal on where if you bought a certain amount of books, like you could then get as many old arcs that they had. So these are books that I hadn't necessarily heard of before, but they're old arcs, like this is from July 2021. But I picked up Paranorthern and the Chaos Bunny a Hopcalypse, which is a middle grade comic, again, sounded hilarious, that's all I know about it. The Undefeated, which is a little tour novella from 2019, so a very old one, um, but a warrior of words and like a journalist in space and uh, an enemy, so it's like sci-fi war from the perspective of a journalist? I don't know, it's teeny tiny, looked fascinating, it was free. Um, and then another little tour novella of The Order of the Pure Moon Reflected in Water. Old school martial arts, characters drawn from history, a bandit walks into a coffee house and it all goes downhill from there. It was free, tiny novella. Tour novellas always tend to be pretty good, so I'm glad I picked a couple of them up. I'm excited about it. I think everything else I have here is from either Forbidden Planet or Waterstones, but I picked up Wind Daughter, which is the sequel to Echo North in Forbidden Planet. I just, I love Echo North so very much, so owning this is exciting. I hope to read it very, very soon. Echo North is one of my favourite polar fantasy books. I absolutely adore it. So I've been eagerly awaiting this one. And I'm very glad to have it in my hands. And then I picked up The Witness for the Dead. I got this one in foils by 
Catherine Addison. Um, this is a half goblin emperor. Right, this is what did it for me. Murder, politics, and intrigue. Picked up a signed middle grade in Waterstones. I got more signed books outside of Yalk. I don't think I, oh no, I did get one signed book in Yalk. Every other signed book I got was either from Comic-Con, Foils, Forbidden Planet, Waterstones. <laughs> um, but The Forest of Moon and Sword um, by Amy Raphael. Um, this is about a young girl who loves her mother, her horse and her sword. And her mother is taken and accused of witchcraft, so she journeys through the wild forests of Scotland and England using her mother's herbal recipe book and a natural magic to guide her. Sounded cute. Um, I then picked up Sparrow Falling by Guy? Gay? 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 I really need to learn how to pronounce this. Sebald, who wrote Bad Gods. Uh, you may have seen me hold this one up a lot lately because I really enjoyed this one. It was a little bit wild and wacky. Um, and I found the original cover of this one in... It was in Waterstones, actually. Um, which was way less appealing than that cover. Um, but I also found this by the same author. And, you know, it's an older fantasy, same as Bad Gods was, but I enjoyed the, like, humour and the strangeness of bad gods so I'm quite excited to try something else from the same author and see if the vibe is similar. I'm looking forward to this one quite a lot. Um, I then picked up Spell Stoppers by Cat Grey. The cover just absolutely called to me. It's a very similar cover to like the Erion Sea Mysteries and then I found out that this book is set in a strange seaside village, so it gives me even more like similar vibes. Um, and our main character is cursed. If he touches anything electrical, it explodes. Um, but yeah, the cover is what called me on this one. I then also picked up Wingbearer, which is another middle grade comic. I'm just really into graphic novels and comics and I am growing my collection of them quite rapidly. Um, but that cover, I think that tells you what sort of adventure this is going to be. Looks absolutely magical. Many a cute creature there. Um, magic takes flight. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I then picked up Inkblot from Forbidden Planet. This cover again called to me and then I read what it was about and I was sold. It's about a cat, right? A powerful sorceress must attempt to correct her greatest mistake the creation of a magical cat that can travel through time, space, and the seven realms of reality. The cat threatens to unravel the fabric of the universe, doesn't care, and just won't listen. I'm excited. How many times can I tell you that? I have then also picked up The Book of Living Secrets by Madeline Rue, a book about book. Oh, they're tempted to enter the world of the book, and they hardly suspect that it will actually work. And they find out that the world of this novel um, with the lavish balls and the star-crossed love is also interlaced with unspeakable horrors and the girls realise that something sinister is behind their foray into fiction. So, book about a book that goes horribly wrong, I guess. I then picked up Servant Mage. This is another tour novella. This one I got in Forbidden Planet. It was £4 off. Um, but I can't remember who I've heard good things about this from, but I've heard good things about this from someone. Um, and then I picked up this one from Yelk. Actually, it was signed. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I kind of went on a little Beth spree at the end here. There you go. Signed. Um, Dangerous Remedy by Kat Dunn. I know that Beth has enjoyed this one a whole lot. And similarly, <laughs> on a Beth note, um, The Unlikely Escape of Uriah Heep. Beth absolutely adored this and then Pris read it recently and also absolutely adored it and I've just heard lots of positive things about it and thought I would pick it up. So I got this one too. And then the last book that I got was actually from Comic-Con but it is Monster in the Woods which is this graphic novel comic type thing signed again because the woman who wrote and illustrated this was on the stall. Um, she was so lovely and her partner, husband, um, who was sat with her was so lovely because this, this is all about a little monster with anxiety 
or a little creature with this anxiety and a monster that follows him around and it's kind of um, like a, a working your way through anxiety and depression type thing and he was explaining how Amy who is the writer like she experiences a lot of this herself and like you could you could see that like he was the one doing like the sales work for her and she was just sat there doodling and like coming up with new ideas and stuff and she had all these illustrations and she was selling all these prints and stuff and selling the drawings that she was doing and they were just such a lovely pair um, and I'm really excited to read this. I'm tempted to read it like ASAP but it's just so pretty. Like it's so pretty. I think that this could be like a proper winner so I I encourage you to look this one up because I'm excited about this but Monster in the Woods by Amy Willis I'm really excited about this and then I went a little bit wild at Comic-Con as well um, I picked up a pin which is very cute but more importantly so from the place I picked up this pin I picked up this Vaporeon print basically I went Pokemon mad but picked up this Vaporeon print I'm in love with it I need to frame it I'm gonna make a Pokemon shelf there's a lot to go on it you will see I then picked up this Pokemon Crossing print which is like my two favorite games smushed together come on now the most expensive print I got <laughs> um, is this little Pokemon card this is a Snowmander card which is like a limited edition handmade wait it's like it's a legit card but it's like a custom made card um, that is only sold at Comic-Con, so I got my hands on it because it's like my two favourite things, the like frosty snowy magic and Charmander, so I needed this, I'm going to frame it somewhere, I adore it, I think it's beautiful, and it's shiny. <laughs> um, then I picked up a bunch of really pretty bookmarks, I know loads of people that went to Yalk went to this particular bookmark shop but like all of these beautiful oh, beautiful prints I, I just think they are absolutely gorgeous there's another print that I picked up oh another print another pin of these little books very cute picked up some sticker sheets that I absolutely could not pass up on bees and the space dog did it for me over here but these are just adorable i love them but most importantly is this this was expensive and for anyone who came up to me at yalk and said jade have you seen the pokemon terrariums yes i did find the pokemon terrariums and i bought one yes it was expensive but I just love it. So I got a little Charmander. Charmander and Vaporeon are my two favourite Pokemon, but he didn't have a Vaporeon one, otherwise I probably would have got two. But his custom slots open up in January, so I'm very tempted to request a custom for a Vaporeon one. But this is just... I, I love it. I love it so much. Um, and it's obviously got a little stand so that it will actually stand up when I put it on my shelf properly. I would do it now but I've literally got no room in here but yeah I absolutely love it. I'm so thrilled. Little Charmander and a little cherry blossom tree. Very very happy. Um, and that is my Yelk and Comic-Con haul. I don't know where the bloody hell I think I'm going to put all of these because I still haven't put my birthday haul away so I need to get to and sort all that out but that is it for this video. I can imagine the vlog portion of this has been crazy, um, so very chaotic but I hope it's been entertaining for you. I had such a great time in London with all of my favourite bookish people um, and if you were there and if you saw me, if you said hi, I hope you had a great time as well. And if you weren't there, I hope that this has been entertaining for you to watch and get a little peep into the absolute chaos that the Yalk trip became. Um, and enjoyed my haul. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up now because I've got a shitload of editing to do. But thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, give us a thumbs up, chat to me down below, all that good stuff. If you aren't subscribed and fancy subscribing, I would be eternally grateful for that. But otherwise, I will see you in whatever comes next. Bye. Bye.